All right. Well, the 24th annual Summerlin Festival of Arts taking place this weekend and headlining the event is more than 100 local and regional artists. So here with more is Jenny Pavoto. I said it right? Pretty close. Pivoto. <laughs> yeah, I practiced. I still got it wrong. No, thank you so much for coming in. And what a fun event, especially now that the weather is so nice. This is a great thing for you to take your family to. So tell us a little bit about the festival. Okay, well the Summerlin Festival, this is our 24th annual Summerlin Festival of Arts and we have just over a hundred artists that'll be positioned on the lawn at downtown Summerlin. Mm -hmm. And there's a little bit of, it, it's a juried event, so all the art is true fine art uh, and there's a little bit of something for everybody. So whether you're looking for that one little piece that mm -hmm. just kind of speaks to you or maybe you're looking for an heirloom piece that you can pass down for generations, we, we have you covered. Very nice, and I love that it is local and regional artists, um, which would make for great gifts, too. I mean, the holidays are coming up, so why not kind of hop on that Definitely. gift buying now? Um, so these are some of the items that people can purchase, kind of an idea? Right. This is just kind of a sampling of what you'll see at the festival. We do have a variety of different mediums. We have uh, different kinds of paint. You'll see acrylic. You'll see some watercolor, photography. Um, different kind of pottery, you'll see jewelry, all kinds okay. of things, woodwork, there's some really cool bells, lots of really neat stuff. Will, will some artists be doing some of this work live or is it all just completed and brought to the festival? There's a bit of both. Some of the artists okay. do demonstrate at their booth. Um, we also have some activities. So Rock Paper Blooms, local organization, they're doing some intricate paper demonstrations. Okay. And we also have Corks and Crafts who will be doing some art demonstrations. So if you really want to see how to do things, we have a little bit of that built in. Uh, in addition to that, we have some students from Las Vegas Academy, Bishop Gorman High School, and Faith Lutheran High School who will be out there doing art live on property. Oh, day. very nice. Now, these students just volunteer to come out and do this? or They did, and they are, are from the arts programs. Okay. So their expertise, and they each have a different medium, so you'll see a, a wide variety. Very good, and you're taking a look at some photos from previous events. So, as you can see, you can bring your kids. Oh, there's face painting. Face painting this yes. year as well? Face painting, balloon arts, uh, Children's Discovery Museum will be there uh, wow. teaching kids how to make jewelry. Which Very is a lot nice. of fun. And we even, our generous sponsor, the Las Vegas Review Journal, is going to teach them how to make slime. Slime? slime. We just had Mark Summers in. <laughs> we need to have slime. So. Oh, make your own slime and then take it to October 20th show. <laughs> Very there you good. Go. Thank you so much for coming in. We really appreciate it. Here's the information for you one more time the 24th annual Summerlin Festival of Arts, again, taking place this Saturday and Sunday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. The event is free and open to the public. Las Vegas Now, we'll be right back.